to the director of football, Journeyman. We're back one game later today um, than I said we were going to be because I miscalculated and we lost a game. So we're going to be playing the Zenit and Anderlecht games today. But as you can see, the Zenit game, the first leg, it went well. We beat them 4-1 away from home. We played them today at home. One would imagine that we're going to win. Which would be ideal. Uh, since you were here last, the games we have played were the Charlois. We beat them 1-0. Uh, Christians get himself a cheeky little goal. Then against Vesterlo, Diallo scored a penalty. They were second in the league at the time. Then we got beaten by Club Rouge in the 95th minute winner. Um, we had Gallardo sent off in the 93rd. And they just, they scored and it was mm, not, not ideal. Then we had the game against Zenit where we won 4-1. We were dominant. The, they took the lead. I did have a squeaky bum time think, thinking they're just going to walk away with it but as you can see 4-1 to us they did not uh, then we beat Zolte Vargan 3-1 they kept telling me that um, if we won this game we were going to win the league but we have a three point gap with two games left so I'm not sure how they how they, how they thought that was going to work but the game against Anderlecht we should win the league If Zalto Vargan can stop Club Rouge from winning, I think we win the league. We're pretty much after to win the league anyway, because we're 30, we're almost double. We've almost double Club Rouge's goals. Um, that being said, we are focusing on the Europa League today. Uh, this is the team we're putting out to play against Zenit. Um, Hector is starting in goal with Coppins and Durkins. Durkins, you said. Why is he playing? Gallardo was injured. And uh, Durkins scored in the last game. So he's going to get his game today because he played really well. Uh, Digresse and Enkite as our central defence. Dodora and Sidija as central midfield. Deckers is going to start today on the wing with East Riley on the left. Diallo and Jax up front. Uh, Rodriguez does have a bit of an injury issue. He had a virus or a bug or something happened to him that he wasn't. He spent a couple of days out um, during the week. Mikov picked up an injury in the last game. He's fit enough that he could play. I'm not going to risk him. I think he's got a knee problem. Um, and Karen, Karen Valle tore his thigh muscle against Zulte Vargan in the last game. So I don't actually know. Did we... I told you about Barashi. Semenov is also leaving for Maribor um, in a deal worked two million. So that's quite nice for us. We're getting a nice little chunk of money before... The end of the season and yeah they'll all be gone by the first of july fantastic right so that's the team we're going to put out there we do have gallardo on the bench um if we need him if durkins has a poor game against zenith i'm not going to say we're through already i'm not going to say 4-1 is enough for me to feel confident in saying Oh, we're going to win this, no problem. We have a very, very good opportunity to to qualify. It's four away goals. So, you know, four away goals. It's a lot of away goals. But it could all go Pete tongue. So, that being said, just are they starting with a midfielder already injured? Okay. I wonder is my assistant going to be working away on him? I'm actually kind of curious. Is he? He is. Going in hard on the guy who is um, carrying a knock. And Daniel James is carrying a knock as well. Interesting. There are two players that play on either side. Oh, they've scored. Within eight minutes, they've scored. Hmm. <laughs> Mm. Olsen didn't start or didn't play in the last game. 
Tiala, but in Kire, Digresse In Kire De Dura out to Deckers. Deckers just gets past his man Diallo. Everyone stopped there. It looked like it was going to be a penalty, but it wasn't. Inkite, all the way back to Hector. Hector, very far out. Past it to Digresse. Back to Hector. For a second, I thought that was going to go past Hector. Digresse. Inkite. Gets it out to East Riley. Cuts inside. Can't get his crossover. Durkins. Dodora. Beautifully ball. Or beautifully passed ball to East Riley. And Diallo gets himself a goal. We even things up. It is one all on the night. 5-2 on aggregate. That was a, a beautifully weighted pass by Dodora. Fantastic cross by East Riley. And Diallo slowly tackles the ball into the back of the net. Nobody's playing poorly, which is good. Deckers, or not Deckers, uh, Durkins. With the throw, easy for the keeper. We have a long punt by the goalkeeper. Digress it to Durkins. Inkita, Dodora. Out wide to Deckers. Back to Dodora. Puts it forward for Coppins. Can't find the blue shirt. And Zenit break 20 minutes in. It's been... I, I, I love that man's name. I really love that man's name. Miroshenko, Shenchenko. Flawless. Alright, we're gonna to for a bit of creativity. Coppins is having a is having a bit of a poor game. Diallo with the corner. Digresse. Looking for his tenth of the season. I'm pretty confident he's already scored ten. Or nine so far this season. So he's looking for his tenth. Then looking to score just before half time, but Deckers says no. Diallo cuts inside. East Riley. Get in. Two one on the night, six two on aggregate. Then it now needs to score five. So they need to score four more goals. Yeah, if they score four more, they go through. They're not going to. They're not going to score four more because we're not going to let them. They've had one shot on target. I'm going to say that I am far from pleased. Um, and yeah. Be happy. East Riley having a good game today, which is delightful. Diallo having a good game as well. Diallo's been, like I said, he's been off form. He's, he's very streaky at the moment don't really like that in my starting main striker Um, wouldn't mind if he just kind of you know just played you know, average all the time uh, they brought Daniel James on just I find that very interesting that they're bringing an injured player on like surely there's somebody on the bench that is fitter that will be worth bringing on. I'm going to bring on Rodriguez. Because his injury wasn't actually an injury. It was more just like a keep an eye on him kind of thing. Uh, Coppins not having a great game. So we're going to take him off and put Degresse on the as the wing back. And move Ever or bring Everett on for him. Degresse goes out to play on the right. It's not quite going to be the 4-1 win we had in the last game. But a win is a win. We could still score two more goals. There's nothing to say we can't. We've had three offsides. They've had one clear cut chance. We've had four half chances. So I think it's fair to say that we've deserved this win. 6-2 on aggregate. We go into the final to play. No, not the Conference League. Europa League. We are going to be playing Valencia. They... They overturned the result against Barcelona and smashed them 3-0. Congratulations, lad. Lads. Into the final. We didn't even get player of the match. Deckers, I'm disappointed. 
I leave Coppins alone. Coppins is, Coppins is fine. He wasn't supposed to start this game. It was only because Mikoff picked up that injury. We are going to be playing Valencia. Which... Ooh, I, I probably would have been more worried about playing Barcelona. But still. Can look forward to the trip to Vasil Lev Levski in Bulgaria. What team? It is it's a CSKA Sofia stadium and the Bulgarian national stadium. So a Spanish and a Belgian team traveling across Europe to play in a final on the 24th of May. So the season for us will be wrapped up and um, hopefully we win the league today. Because I don't really want to play the Vesterlo game on with the Valencia final. We're going to be suiting up for that as well. This is our first major European final. And we have some uh, decisions that need to be made for that game. Right, we will be back in just a second for the Anderlecht game. Um, which, as I said, could, in theory... If Club Rouge don't score points, we will win the league. So, back in a second for that. Right, now we're back for the Anderlecht game. It keeps saying we could win the league. To be fair, with this game, we could actually win the league this time. <clears throat> um, if Zulte Vargen take any points off Club Rouge, we're champions again. The two-time champions. And in the next episode, we will be playing Valencia in the Europa League final. I can't believe we've made it to the final of the Europa League. To be fair, I didn't think we were going to be as competitive as we were in the Champions League. But this is how we are starting today. De Grece picked up a suspension from getting too many yellow cards in the last... Was it the last game or the Zulte Vargen game? He's suspended anyway. Carnaval is still out. So Everett comes in at centre-back. Uh, Mitkov comes back in at right-back. Coppins drops to the bench. Blish... Is going to sit on the bench. He has played a couple of games for us now. Um, three times he's come off the bench. He looks pretty good. Other than that, I think Lingetti comes in. And Rodriguez is starting this game. I'm going to play him as a complete forward on support. And see if that suits him better. Although I kind of really want to play him as... Yeah, we're going to play him as a complete forward on attack. Because uh, he has quite good finishing. He's, he's a natural striker. Um, it's interesting because I think originally he was the one that I was going to have as my backup striker. And that guy we sent on loan to Braga, whose name I do not remember. He was originally going to be the, the one that I wanted to start. Um, a win here. We'll secure the title for us. The players did not seem, well, not everyone, some players didn't seem overly enamoured with the fact that I held a team meeting and said, we could win the league. Some of the players were like, what do you mean we could win the league? Don't be putting extra pressure on us. It's like, we're already top of the league. We're three points clear. We just need to better Club Bruges' result today. So, you know, calm down. East Riley. Oh. Just gets taken off him. Um, there was only, I think it was four of the players weren't happy with it. But the rest of the squad were delayed. Everett hits just over. This is kind of where I prefer to have De Grasse Because he's, his heading ability is quite good. As you know, he has scored quite a few goals. And Anderlecht have taken the lead. Just three minutes into, into the game. Hmm. Can't really show to the players just yet because it won't make any difference. Which I've been very interesting. For the first like 10, 15 minutes, you can't really say anything to your players. And like, like it won't affect them. But then after that, not a problem. After half time, straight away. Walk out and be like, show some passion. Get creative. You know, whatever. Diallo pass, gets past his man. Loses the ball again. Gets the cross over. Tadura! <laughs> yeah okay it is a goal the way everything stopped there for a second I was like oh I don't I 
we got quite lucky with this one that Idrissa Dumbia kicked it off Sidija and it bounced back to Dodora. But we have leveled it. We are one all. Alright, let's demand more. Rodriguez, Zultifarkin are beating Club Rouge. Club Rouge have equalised. Ningeti. Oh, Diallo almost scored. What we need to do actually is bring up the league table. I need to I need to see what's going on. I've got a need for speed. Hector to Everett. Back to Hector. Actually, we are going to fix this. So I can see what's going on. I don't care about the other ones. This is no way important. Put it up here so you, put it up here so you can see it as well. Dodora. Back to Inkita. Sidija. Big ball forward. Diallo. Can't finish it. We just need a goal. Everett heads. Quite high and wide. All right, we are coming up on half time. Club Rouge and Zolte Vargan still drawing in their game. Durkins. That was not a great clearance. Thankfully, Hector was there to stop uh, Bertrand. And it does a Dumbia heads over. So we are we're living on the edge currently. Alright, half time, one all. I'm going to assertively say I'm far from pleased. Because, you know, I'm not I'm not overly happy. A lot of the players are not having great games. Uh, pretty much our entire defence. And a quarter of our midfield. And both our strikers are struggling. Interesting. Mid cover with the long throw. Easy for the keeper. Alright, come on lads, demand more. Durkins hits out, but Dil Rosen picks it up. Go on, Lingetti. I'm just watching the Club Rouge points to see if they go up. I'm hoping they don't. Cortez, offside. Bertrand's offside, he is, okay. Is there anything I can do? Apart from taking, um, not yet. I don't want to make any major changes yet. Or right, we know he's offside. Everett, big ball forward. Rodriguez hits it back to Sadija. East Riley gets dispossessed, but Inkita picks it up. Durkins, back to Inkita. All the way back to Hector. Why would you pass it back to Hector from there, Everett? Out to Lingetti has Mikov behind him. Lingetti goes back to Dodora. Mikov, Lingetti it gets headed away with CDJ. Dodora, CDJ, Durkins. Oh, a keeper blocks. The keeper made an absolute fantastic save against Rodriguez. Diallo Rabona's it over to Rodriguez, and we've scored again. Diallo with the Rabona. It was a Rabona, wasn't it? Oh, it was. He. Oh. Diallo with the Rabona. Never in doubt. Del Rosen. Idrissa Dumbia. Almost got that one in. Mitkov. Big throw. Keeper again saves it. Easy pluckage for the keeper. Mitkov. Picks up the loose ball. Dodora, Everett. Tries to set Rodriguez through by the looks of it. Bertrand looked to be offside. But he just seems to have split the defenders and done quite well for himself. Yeah, we're going to get a bit of creativity going. We're going to make a change. East Riley's coming off because he's been meh at best Christians is going to come on for him uh, Mitkov is tired and playing poorly but we'll give him a little bit longer 
don't want to go take him off just for the sake of taking him off. Alright, we are going to... Okay, maybe not. Everett heads over again. Alright, let's go on creative. We don't want to... Drop point the Club Rouge are winning their game. And Enkita scores an own goal. Uh. Okay. Um, Midcuff, you have to come off here. It's exhausted, so Coppins is going to come on. And um, who do we have on the bench that could make a difference? No one really. So DJ has been fairly quiet in this game. Which is not something I'm used to seeing. I think we move Rodriguez to be the advance forward and have uh, Diallo be a complete forward for the final 10 minutes. I'm going to demand more. Ninguetti. Rodriguez picks up the spot and then instantly falls over. Coppins puts the ball through to Ninguetti. Doesn't, doesn't do anything with it. But he wins it back. Abubakar Diallo gets the goal. Kind of interested to see what the score in the Club Rouge game is because I haven't seen any updates in the corner. Oh my god damn it, it's doing the thing where I can't see anything. Grrr. Right, final four minutes. We're just going to make a substitution to kill a bit of time. We're going to bring Julian on for the Dora. Because the Dora is tired. Julian. So they are going to have drawn in the ninth, or drawn even in the 90th minute. And then Getty goes for goal. It doesn't quite get there. We're over. Yes! Back to back to back to back to back. Belgian champions. Get in. So the result of Argon game still I can't see can't see the result. It must have ended in a draw. Yeah, 2-2. Two, two. They scored the, their equaliser in the 91st minute. Had two players injured during the game as well. Club Rouge went out to break legs. So, fantastic lads. Well done, you sealed the title. We don't have to worry about the final game of the season against... Who's? I don't remember who the final game of the season was against. Westerlo or v Visterlo? Yeah, it's against Visterlo. So, we are champions. We have scored 100 goals, only conceded 36. Double Club Rouge's um, goal difference, and we're champions. So, De Vargan doing us a favour, getting themselves a cheeky little point. We're back to back on that now. Uh, two times in a row, we've won the league. Border delighted. The medals. Who played the least amount of games to get a medal? Wesley Van Britsum. Pierre Conergay. When? He played twice for Gink and he gets a medal. Even though he never played for us. Sacramento. That's his name. Sacramento. The uh, the striker who could never score. <laughs> really struggled to score goals for us. He's out injured now at the minute. So he won't be playing anyway. Doso gets himself a medal as well. So well done, lads. Um, thirty-two med. We've played thirty-two different players in the league. That's insane. And Sadija, player of the match. Not prepared to cover the subject yet. Oh, whatever. Um, so the next episode is just going to be the Valencia game. We are going to suit up and we're going to play Valencia in 
Bulgaria of all places. Um, I'll let you know how the Vesterlow game goes, but it matters little. We are champions of Belgium again, and we've also broken a record for most wins in a season. Twenty nine. Get it? We could make it thirty. Oh, that would be. Whew. I think we've we've had a relatively good season. The fact that we've lost seven games not great, but doesn't matter. So if you have enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Share with all of your friends, and um, I'll see you tomorrow for Valencia. <laughs>